Hello and welcome to Jewelry Rescue. I'm Kat and I'm a girl on a mission to rescue and recycle the world's unwanted jewellery. Today I'm back in the car. It's spring in the UK so naturally it's absolutely pouring with rain. I'm in the heart of Surrey in a lovely town called Godalming where I sell my upcycled and some of my pre-loved jewellery. There are some amazing charity shops here so whilst I'm here I'm going to have a whiz around before it's time to pick up my little one from nursery at lunchtime. And in a moment I'm going to show you what I find alongside a haul of things that I've picked up over the last couple of weeks because my girls have been off school and nursery for the Easter holidays and I found some amazing things that I haven't had a chance to show you. So do stick about, don't forget to like and subscribe and let's see what I find. So as I said I went to stock up the shop and then I popped across the road into this charity shop. Just look at all the lovely vintage pieces in here, so many vintage earrings and all of these costume pieces, there was so much there. I spent ages digging through. I didn't find any treasures there, but I did find something amazing in the cabinet, which I'm gonna show you right now. This beautiful Native American silver inlaid cuff. Isn't it stunning? It's got a maker's mark inside here, which says F. Shana, Shana. Um, and I did find that maker online and I only found this style of bracelet. So if you know any more about that maker, I'd love to know more. It has little flowers. Um, these are onyx, coral maybe, turquoise, and then these are mother of pearl. It had a sign on it that said small and it had been underlined several times. And I have tiny wrists, so this was brilliant news for me. It's an absolute perfect fit and I'm in love with it. I'm really pleased with that. Didn't pay very much for it at all. Um, she actually discounted it at the till because it had been in the cabinet for so long. So I'm thrilled with that. Um, I think it's a Zuni piece if you're into Native American. I'm new to it, but falling in love very fast with Native American silver. So really chuffed with that one. In the same shop, I found these incredible sterling silver dangly earrings. There's some real weight to these. I've never seen anything quite like them. They go brilliantly with my bangle, which I'm going to talk about in another video. Aren't they stunning? So those will go up on my Etsy shop when I've worked out how on earth to price them because that's a lot more weight than I'm used to in silver. In the same shop I picked up this vintage hair barrette, which says it was made in France. That was pennies. It was just in a box of things for 50p, I think that was. And this vintage 80s plastic necklace with bananas. Isn't that fun? It's got a broken clasp, so it was in the broken box. And again, it was 50p. I think that I will probably make earrings out of them because they're so fun. But scream at me if you think I should fix it and keep it as a necklace. Let's move some of these pieces out of the way. Oh, and then I popped into another shop which saves me broken bits and I picked up a bag which I've just weighed on the scales seven pounds worth of broken jewellery and earrings because the shop doesn't sell earrings um, since Covid so that will probably be in next week's video so do make sure that you subscribe and stay tuned for that one. In that shop I picked up this ring which was in the tray of rings they had priced them all the same they're two pounds it's brass it's got a bit of verdigris on it there I've cleaned it, but I haven't scrubbed off the verdigree because I felt it kind of suited this piece. It's a little bit big for my little finger, unfortunately. So whether or not I'll keep it, I'm not sure. Um, but the other thing which I mentioned in my last video is that I've just bought the Presidium Gem Tester here. And I wanted to test it on camera because I'm not sure if this is glass or if it's a stone. So let's pop the tester in. I'll focus back on that and we'll see we'll see what it says I do this so you can see Oops. okay so it's coming out right across three lines there I don't really know what that means <laughs> can you help me out maybe you can oh just touch the uh, the brass there could it be a garnet it doesn't look like a garnet does it it looks like glass, but it's obviously not. If you can help me out on that one, I'm new. This is my brand new Presidium Gem Tester. So if you know more about how I can read that, please let me know. So that's a cool one. 
and um, when I stocked up the shop where I sell in this town I had a little customer donation which was just this Thomas Sabe box so let's see what's inside so when people drop off things that they no longer want they get 10% off their next purchase of my jewellery in the shop which I um, sell upcycle jewellery so making the bits taking apart the broken bits and making new things this is a Thomas Sabo signed 95 silver charm really sweet that's a lovely little donation I will do something with that one okay what should we look at next let's have a quick look at my car boot sale finds so in the school holidays I took my girls to the boot sale and there were about 10 stalls there maybe but there was a guy that had some really interesting vintage pieces in a tray and I picked up this selection from him. So we've got this amazing filigree piece. No markings on it at all, but I do think it's got some age to it. I did a Google lens search and I couldn't really find anything quite the same. So if you know anything more about this one, please do let me know. I love your comments. I've learned so much from you guys um, and I hope that maybe you might learn a little bit from me. But do check the comments if you don't normally because there's always some amazing insights about what I've picked up. I wonder if this might be Indian silver perhaps. It's um, not sterling I don't think but possibly a low grade silver. And that will go onto a chain and be reworn. This is just a fun pair of costume lightning bolt earrings that I picked up for myself. This is a modern resin piece with wood and I did find it on Google. It's a fantasy landscape ring, just a bit fun. It sits quite high on the finger. This little owl, which is just a costume piece, but he's got all of his sparklies and he's quite fun. And then this one, which looks a bit like a Maltese cross, but I don't think it is a Maltese cross. We've got some religious imagery on the back. And this is that, is it called Scottish agate? That's, that's to, look like glass, uh, to look like agate, but it's actually glass. Just a pretty vintage um, costume piece, but I thought it was quite fun. And then I went back this morning and the same seller was there and I picked up this from him which I couldn't believe how nicely it went with the Zuni cuff. It's Mexican, it's marked on the back. What does it say? Ah, oh, Hecho on Mexico, made in Mexico. So there's no um, 95 markings on it, but it has cleaned up beautifully with my silver cloth. Um, so I will test that one. I wonder if it might be a plated a plated piece but it looks so cool with this one I couldn't resist it I just paid a couple of pounds for that one just a bit of fun that was the only jewelry that I saw at the boot sale this morning but I did buy a couple of display stands for the shops so on to the charity shop pieces I did a lot of charity shopping in the school holidays with my girls because they absolutely love spending their pocket money on toys and things in the charity shops and whilst they were amused looking through those, I was able to raid the jewellery. Let me zoom out a little bit again. There we go. I've got loads of things. Some nice glass. These are on sterling hooks and they were just a pound. So those will probably go onto fresh hooks and go into one of my shops. These absolute beauties. These are lamp work glass beads to look like the rolling sea. Again, they're on sterling hooks, absolutely gorgeous, and I might keep those, um, I will decide later. These ones were just in the costume as well, but they look like silver to me, so I'm going to test those. In fact, I haven't even, the backs are just cheapy ones. I haven't even fully checked these over yet, but I'm pretty sure that those are sterling silver. I shall test those. I have got the testing acids now and I just haven't had a chance to get them out. So I've got a big pile of things to look at. These I bought for myself. They're on clip-ons, but I'll swap them over. Just thought they were fun acrylic pieces. And then I think these ones are all from the same shop. Yeah, I squealed a little bit when I saw this one in the cabinet for £4, but sadly it's not silver and I'm pretty sure it's not even 
stone. I think it's glass. Whoops. Just touch the presidium. Oh, it's warming up again. I think we'll come back to that one. I've been after a pair of turquoise earrings for myself, so I picked up these ones for me. They are sterling silver, and the turquoise is absolutely stunning. Look at that. I really love those. And I've been desperate to wear them, but I wanted to show them to you first <laughs> before I cleaned them up and wore them. And then, that's that one, these ones were a set and they are marked 95 for sterling silver. They're just made of wire and what I think are little amethyst beads. I think we'll test that now that the presidium's warmed up. Let's just have a look. I need to practice how to show you the presidium whilst holding the jewellery. Get it onto the bead there we go yes those are amethyst so it's a nice little amethyst and sterling silver set and all, those will go just to be sold let's check this one i think it's probably glass there's no movement at all maybe it's plastic but i mean you can probably on camera it probably does look like a stone does it it's got the look i've enjoyed wearing that once already and then these earrings, I thought the chain might be silver. So again, I need to test those. Again, just £2.50. And this costume ring. This is an adjustable one. It's just gold tone. I don't think it's anything special. But the stone in, in the middle there, I thought had the look of rubies that I've got in another ring, which is set in sterling silver. So I thought that would be a fun one to test on the Presidium as well. So let's see what that one comes out at. I'll test these sparklies first. I'm not expecting those to be anything because it's not even in a silver mount, let alone a gold one. No, no movement on that. Oops. That centre one is going up to Ruby. I don't think it's worth particularly much, but a nice little costume ring. I thought it was pretty and then this one which I'm on reflection I probably won't be able to sell because I'm guessing it's bone I don't think it would be ivory but I just thought it was a fun set of beads to have in my collection look how nicely they've all been hand carved and again that was just a couple of pounds the clasp look has been beautifully handmade as well so that one was quite cool and then in two separate shops, I couldn't believe this, on the same day, I picked up this one because I bought myself an 80s jacket that was just so sort of fabulously hideous that I had to have it. That was on a pound sale rail as I was leaving the shop. And when I went to pay for it, I saw this in the cabinet for two pounds and I thought it would go perfectly. <laughs> it's just gold tone. Um, and it's got this sort of cone shaped dangle, which I've never seen before on the clasp. And then within a couple of hours, I've never picked up one of these before, I found this one in another charity shop, which has the same little dangle on the end there. So I think it's probably come from the same manufacturer and they can be worn together. So I think that I will do that, layer them up. Just a bit of fun. Again, they were a couple of pounds each, not very much. And in the shop where I bought these ones and the, the big fake stone, I picked this one out of the glass um, cabinet, which is Mark 95. And it's got this really nice sterling silver chain running through inside. And these gold beads, I'm guessing might be uh, Vermeil. It's a gold colored silver. It's the style of other skinny beaded bracelets that I wear. I did pay up for this because I wanted it for myself. And it is also slightly too big for me, but I'm going to do it up sort of further along the chain here. I just couldn't resist it. It's just my style. And I picked up two brass bangles. This one's a cuff. Looks like it's been handmade. Brass and copper. And some black enamel. And because that's adjustable, that fits me nicely as well. 
This one I haven't decided yet whether it will be a keeper or a sale one, but I just love the inlaid shell there. Really pretty one. And then I've got a haul of amazing earrings. So these lovely boho ones. Hard to see on these cards they put them on. There we go. Brass ones. And then these I absolutely fell in love with. So these are those sort of 1980s and 90s enamel. They're not the fish ones, but they have this marking on the back. I've had lots of them before. I just absolutely love those. I was a teenager in the 90s and the celestial stuff was everywhere and I just loved it. So those at least will be worn for a bit by me if they do get sold later down the line. These are for fairies on moons. These bunnies, which look like the Bambi bunny. And these owls, which I've had before, and they sold really quickly on Etsy, so I thought I'd nab those as well. This um, person that had donated these obviously had a huge collection. There were probably maybe 15 pairs, and I just couldn't have them all, so I just picked my favourites. But I hope you'll agree with me that those were nice ones. And I think that's all I'm going to show you today. What was your favourite piece? Let me know what you think. Mine definitely has got to be this Zuni cuff. I'm absolutely in love with it. Um, but I'd love to hear what you think about the rest of it. And I'm going to do a video. There'll be another unboxing next week. And then the week after, I'll be showing you my online thrift haul, which has got some amazing silver pieces and another job lot of silver tone stuff that we can look through together as well. Please, if you're new, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.